Anyways, I uh, I kind of wanted to uh, tell some ghost stories or spooky stories for you guys to listen to, and hopefully fall asleep or hopefully get scared. Either of the two. So what I'm gonna do. is to help you relax but I'm gonna spook you hopefully <laughs> what would Halloween be without a little fear all right and uh, other than that other than those spooky stories that I'm gonna read off reddit I'm gonna go ahead and tell you my spookiest story or encounter that I And uh, this is 100% true. You can uh, ask both of my friends who were there with me at that time. Um, But uh, let's go ahead and start with my story. Since I don't have a Reddit story pulled up yet. And I'm I'm really uh, excited to share this story. I, I tell this to my friends all the time and they do not believe me. But I know what I saw. Actually, before I get started, I want to ask, um, what's your favorite Halloween tradition? Do you guys go out trick-or-treating? Because you're never too old to go trick-or-treating. Uh, take that from me, who went <laughs> trick-or-treating their senior year of high school. So, and if I could, I would this year. Why lie? Um, let's see. Do you guys go trick-or-treating? Do you guys stay inside? give out candy are you those are you uh, a, uh, s- a horror movie um, enthusiast do you watch scary movies with your family with your friends uh, are you a troublemaker and go egg and TP people's houses or your ex's car <clears throat> I'm just kidding um, don't do that I mean yeah that, that's all I can say um guess parties but uh, I don't think well I'm pretty sure there's still gonna be some parties but uh, you know with this whole pandemic I guess everyone's gonna be wearing a mask lol <laughs> so what I'm tapping on is a cup it's a plastic cup Okay, 
so um, quick backstory or things you should know before I tell you the story so I'm obviously Hispanic if you don't know that I'm Hispanic my family comes from Mexico and um, yeah so basically in Mexico as well as other countries but Mexico is known for having uh, legends and stories of witches right and oh god just talking about this right now it's like two in the morning right now and it's yeah it's kind of spooky talking about this but whatever so um in mexico um a very popular legend or um folk tale if you if you want to say that um is you know the story of witches right to this day there's um you know numerous uh occasions where people say they've come across witches at you know today um because like yeah uh, brujeria which is uh, what we call it in spanish is very popular in mexico um sure it's probably not um you know the american witch you know where you see hocus pocus right the three witches on a broomstick and you know all like the cliche right uh no similar but different so i always grew up listening to these stories that my my grandfather my grandparents my mom would tell me all these stories right so i I would say that witches scare the hell out of me that's for sure these stories always haunted me as a kid um let's see and then like i ask if you ask any hispanic or mexican or anyone i guess from southern america they can tell you their own version of the witch but it all comes together right like that are very similar so apparently apparently like uh, if you hear like knocking on your window especially three knocks in, in particular that's like that could be them right and that they're knocking three times because they're um they're mocking the trilogy the, the tr <laughs> yeah the trinity the trilogy sorry i was thinking spider-man for a second they're mocking the trinity yeah <laughs> i keep looking back <laughs> oh creepy anyways so yeah that's that's not my experience but i'm just letting you guys know the things that happen oh it's uh, it's creepy like i keep turning back oh. god this video is not gonna turn out the way i want it but that's okay um okay so my experience I believe this was two years ago um i had just gotten my license and it was like summer so me and my yeah 2018 yeah 2018 summer we're going into my first year of college so i just get my license i'm the first one to get my license out of my friends not true but anyways my other friends didn't have a license at the time so we plan to go to the movies or the mall i don't remember so i pick up my friend ruben and my friend diego right so i go pick these guys up and we head to where we're going and it it's night it gets dark right and they they both are they get dropped off at my house i think they get dropped off at my house. i don't remember how yeah okay yeah yes never mind they they did have their license they did have their license because they drove to my house and we i'm the only okay fact i'm the only one of my friends from high school who has uh, a four-door car all my other friends have coupes or like one friend has a corvette one friend has a miata you know <laughs> so i'm the only one who can fit more than two people in their car so I have a 99 Corolla, if you're wondering, um, which happens to be my grandfather's. Anyways, these guys, they come to my house, 
and we take off in my car to the mall. I'm guessing it's the mall. We usually go to the mall, or we used to. Anyways, we get back. Um, I will say, my friend in the back is a little intoxicated. Not on liquor, if you know what that means. The devil's lettuce. <laughs> so, we're driving back. It's We have the whole day we spend it together. We're driving back on this one road. This one road is, um, I would say, it's, how do I say it? It's not really farmland there are houses uh, okay yeah so it's not deserted but it's like 11 o'clock so there's no cars at all all right and i don't live in like a big city okay just, just putting that out there so there's no cars right it's 11 o'clock 10 10 30 maybe um we stop at a stoplight right and my house is like a mile and a half no it's like two miles away from this stop the stoplight where we're at and we're there and i i noticed something so it's i'm driving my friend diego is in the passenger seat and my friend ruben's in the back so we're there we're stopped and it's dead right no, nothing and there's a light post up ahead straight ahead so, I look, I'm, I'm looking forward, right, as I should be, and I see something, and it's, it's weird, because what I remember seeing is a, a lady in a white gown with long black hair, and she's just staring at me, and I would say she's like a mile no, not even a mile. Less, less than a mile, for sure. Was it 300 meters, possibly? No, no, it can't be 300 meters. Yeah, I would say about 400 meters. She's there, on the side of the road, just staring at me. And I'm like, okay, that's weird, but I'm also blind. So, I'm not gonna let, you know, my... I'm not gonna let my brain scare me into thinking I'm seeing something. So, I start the light turns green so i start driving forward i start inching up slowly my eyes are locked on this thing i don't know what it is because in the back of my head i know what i'm thinking all right but i mm, a part of me is like no come on you're blind you're just seeing things so we're, we start pulling up and then i notice that the, that thing what i'm looking at whatever it is starts moving like, I don't see a face. I just see the white gown, the black hair. All right. And it starts moving, like, horizontally. Like, how do I say it? Like, crab walking. Like, it doesn't crouch, but it just, like, if you, if you know what a crab walks like, it walks on the sides, right? So that's what it's doing. It's moving to the right. It's on the left side of the road, by the way. And it starts moving. So right before we pass the green light like i'm just dead looking at this thing my friend who's in the passenger seat diego he's like do you see that and when he said that my heart sank to my stomach i swear to i swear to god that was the scariest moment of my life i was like dude yes and it was so weird because i was like dude I kind of don't want to drive to it. I'm getting terrible, scary vibes. I'm getting, oh, I was, I was shook at that time. I was like, "Holy crap!" He sees it too. I'm not crazy, and it's still moving. All right, and I remember seeing this video. I don't know if you guys saw it. I don't know where this is. Not in the U.S. It's not in a uh, Spanish-speaking country either. But <laughs> there's this witch who's wearing a white gown and black hair and she's chasing she's she's like waddling on the street right and the car inches up and it starts waddling after them it's it's so scary and that's exactly what came to my mind at that time i'm pretty sure that video was fake but i don't i, don't, I 
hope it was fake because if what I saw there was that, jeez, that I'm telling you, it scarred me because to this day I still remember and I still get chills on my spine. Anyways, we're driving, right? And I'm like, we have to pass it anyways. We get a closer look, but I'm gonna be very, very cautious. I lock my door. I drive. I drive. I'm driving. I'm driving. We're pulling up. We're pulling up. All of a sudden, boom! It disappears. I swear, I don't, like, I didn't see it, like, vanish. I just, I didn't know where it went. I, I, like, I have no idea where it went. I don't know if, like, I'd stop looking for a second and it was gone. Because by the time we passed where it was, it wasn't there. Nothing was there. That's the scary part about it. And, oh my god, I tell you, I was like, was that my friend in the back had no idea what was going on so we're driving <laughs> and i'm like dude what the hell was that and he's like i don't know dude like i don't know i gotta go home <laughs> i was like yeah me too so i i was freaked out that entire night my friends go get in their cars right and they leave but i'm still frightened as heck so i <laughs> I ran inside and I was so afraid of locking the door like because I have a gate um, in front of my door so I have to lock the gate and then I have to lock the door so locking the gate was the scariest thing I was like oh what if it comes after me you know because I remember the like oh they knock on your window and stuff like they follow you home oh that scared the poop out of me I oh my god so I locked the door close it I kid you not I pulled out my bible I asked my mom to pray for me, and that entire night, I could not sleep because I was worried I was going to hear the knocks, or something, you know, something spooky was going to happen, but thank God, nothing happened to me that night, other than that very, very weird encounter, and the scary, 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 uh, I'm pretty sure it was a witch, none, I tell my one friend, Frank, if you're listening to this, this happened, I swear to you, it happened. All right, I'm not making this up. <laughs> oh, man, scary times. So that's my my encounter with uh, with uh, a witch. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have any spooky witch stories or not, but um, I'd like to hear them. Um, so yeah, that's that. Whew, man, now I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight. So, okay, now let's go to Reddit, 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 oh, by the way, me and my friend, we started a, um, a Spider-Man meme page, a Raimi meme page, so go check us out, we are on Instagram and on Reddit, we are the Daily Pizza Time. Just a quick shout out. All right, Reddit. Let's go to spooky r slash spooky. Spooky, 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 spooky. Spooky stories, 5.8 thousand members. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Seven. Yeah, what's uh, if you guys are still here? What's your guys' favorite Halloween song? Is it Thriller? Is it Ghostbusters? Is it uh, let me know? Is it the Halloween theme? Uh, the basement uh, 15 days ago. Okay, all right. This one's called The Basement. Never read it, so I'm sorry if it's a disappointment or something gross or something. Halloween doesn't matter. Here we go. The basement. At the time this event happened, I was only 12 years old. I'm now 13 and ready to speak out about it. I invited my friend Weston over for a sleepover. It was a rainy night and all was going really well. A year or two before 
the sleepover occurred, I created a gaming room in the basement and was really proud of it. So I asked him if he wanted to go down to the basement and play some sports games. So we did. We started playing, laughing, and just having an all-around good time. The clock now struck about 2 a.m. and we were still awake. Randomly, the TV just turned off with no reason at all. I asked him if he thought it may have blown a fuse. The TV still had power to it, so that was not the answer. We turned it back on and continued playing. There were 20 steps from the first floor to the basement. So if something very quiet happened at the top, it would be very hard to So I climbed the stairs to go see who was there. I got to the door and it was locked. I told them that the door was locked and we both started to freak out. I had my phone on me so I called my dad with my phone. He picked up and explained everything and explained everything to him over the phone. He came down and he opened the door explaining that it was not locked. We both got the heck out of there and went to bed. Nothing weird happened again. A little, a little spooky. Also, another question for you guys. Do you guys believe in the paranormal? As in ghosts and spirits and stuff like that? Or do you believe in aliens and UFOs and stuff like that? Or do you believe in both? Because apparently I had no idea that there's this huge feud um, or argument saying people who believe in aliens but don't believe in the paranormal and there's people who believe in the paranormal don't, don't believe in aliens i personally believe okay i believe in ghosts and stuff for sure aliens i'm a little skeptical 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 but i i wouldn't like completely shut down the, the idea that they could exist because i've seen some creepy stuff and So my mouth is really dry and I can't read. So I'm gonna take a quick, 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 quick water break. Spooky figures. Strange enough, I don't remember things easily. Or half remember of. Okay, sorry. Um, that's not me. I don't know what this person meant, but or have member of my childhood before six years old. Or have remembered of my child before six years old. Okay, I get what you mean, man. Only strange, only strange things that happen are when I first open my eyes. Somehow remember my first time opening my eyes. Nothing special though, just black void and light spans from the middle. Okay, um, I was, I was alone, one awake. Oh. I was alone, I was, and I was watching cartoons. I have a very short attention span and decided to look out of the window far from the TV. On my left was a hallway to my bedroom, my mom's bedroom and bathroom. On my right is a wall with windows. I look to the left and see a man and woman looking out from my mom, looking out from my mom and mine's bedroom. Okay. They were like black voids moving and breathing. I stayed in the living room and probably fell asleep there. Did I scream? No. Why? I don't know. I didn't say hello because I was in I was a late speaker. Years later I found out the complex was built on top of a Native American graveyard. <laughs> but I don't think they were Native Americans. They dressed too modern. Maybe something happened before my mom moved in there. Huh. Interesting. The old uh Native American graveyard, I, I see. 
So this one's really short. It's called Spooky Hotel. I'm staying at a haunted hotel and it's going good. <laughs> but I wish for this to blow up overnight since my birthday is in five days. Come on, Reddit, do your thing. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay, this one's a little long. But, um, I used to hear a voice calling out. You might be scrolling through Reddit without, with nothing to do in your wonderful and amazing day. True. But I just wanted to share this with people to see if they have an answer with my past experience. When I was a kid, let's say around five to seven years old, I used to hear a voice whenever I was going to sleep. It was a deep and dark voice, in fact. Whenever I tried going to sleep, that voice popped up just calling out my name. Since I was young, it was a scary thing to hear. Psh, it's scary now. I always thought it was God reaching out to me since I'm a Christian, so I used to think that. I also think it was something worse, a demon or an evil spirit. I never made sure what it was. Maybe it was in my head, but to this day, I'm still in question of what it really was would be great if someone that it would be great if someone that has had this kind of supernatural experience would share their story with me nobody would believe what I told them about this voice not my dad mom brother literally nobody they would just think I was going crazy or that it or, or that it was a joke which clearly it wasn't I wasn't terrified what could possibly happen to me if that voice kept talking to me. Thankfully, after three to four years of constantly hearing that deep and scary voice, it just disappeared and has never come back to talk to me before going to sleep. If anyone has ever dealt with this or knows the answer to the situation, please let me know. I'm really curious to know what this phenomenon Sorry for wasting your time. Have a wonderful day or night. Goodbye. Um, the infamous cabbage. You did not waste my time. That's a little interesting. Uh, it's a little weird that I'm sharing this. I hope it's okay with you. In the comments, uh, this is not really a story, but I didn't know where else to post this. Okay. Quite odd. Very interesting. And most of all, very spooky. Um... And the comments are saying stuff like that, too. So, let me read this one. This comment says, When I was little, I'd hear a woman arguing in my head really faintly so I could hear, I couldn't hear any words. Would happen more often when I was sick. Hmm. This guy says, I'm a realist, but love paranormal. In my opinion, this may refer to how much you love the paranormal. To some extent, your brain comes up with this. I've had enough of these situations, but I remember everything is very blurry, so it seems to me that the brain itself creates an illusion. Huh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so this is, I don't know, I haven't read the story. It's called My Weird Glitch in the Matrix Story. So that's cool. I honestly, next year, I want to tell these kind of stories because, you know, we're all used to the old fashioned ghost story, witches, uh, ghosts, uh, you know, uh, stranger in the woods kind of story. But what about stuff like this? You know, I don't know if you guys have heard of the, the back rooms, the back rooms. That is a creepy stuff. Basically what the back rooms is, is, um, so in video games, I'm not sure if you guys play video games, but uh, um, there's this event, or uh, I guess you call it an event, or it's called no clipping. So if you've ever played GTA 5, you know there's this glitch where you can go through the walls. It's not just in GTA 5, but um, 
I'm pointing to a common example which many people do. So where you you go through the walls and you or you fall off the map, right? So people apparently have no clipped in real life. Um, yeah, they just fall out of the world. Okay, they don't fall out of the world. So um, usually, from what I've read, is people accidentally go into the back rooms by like accidentally running into a wall or something, and it leads to this really uh, familiar, apparently familiar place. And so it's a set of rooms, right? Um, so all the, the rooms are all painted one color, like a, like a beige, kind of, yeah, like a beige sand or something. And the floor, I believe it's a carpet almost the same color as the walls and there's these uh, these lights um, on the wall on the, on the ceiling ceiling lights right uh, like the long ceiling lights I don't know if you know what I'm talking about and like that's all you hear is like the hum of the ceiling lights like and it'll just keep going forever and apparently there's levels and like there's creatures there sometimes and, oh man i don't even want to get into that right now but uh, if you're into that creepy stuff i would suggest checking out the back rooms it's a creepy pasta but apparently it's real i don't know never want to experience it in my life anyways this one is called my weird glitch in the matrix story when i was around seven i was in english sped class for add we were doing some artsy project. Suddenly, I dropped my glue stick, and the second I hit the ground, everything stopped. It was time. It was as if time just ceased to exist. I was the only thing that could move. This lasted around three seconds. Just enough time to look around and see all my friends and teachers frozen. Then it all started again. I started crying due to a mixture of confusion and fear. The teachers didn't know what to say, so they brought me to my guidance counselor, who gave me a BS explanation about how time was like a string, and sometimes the string has knots. Apparently, I had experienced one of these knots. I pretty much know that it's probably just my wild imagination, but it just felt so real and scared, and still scares me to death. Yeah, no, uh, those kind of stories are very, very spooky, for sure. The Bunny Man Bridge story. Oh, it's a st oh. So this is a video. So yeah, I hope that everyone has had a very, very spooky, very, very fun Halloween, very safe Halloween. Hope that everyone's wearing their masks. Ha 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 ha. Um, I hope that you have a great Halloween. Or if you're not allowed to celebrate Halloween, I hope that you have a great Saturday. Or if you don't celebrate Halloween at all. Um, wait. Yeah, I hope that everyone has a wonderful day tomorrow or today, whenever they're listening to this. Um, and yeah, let me know your favorite scary movies, your favorite candy, your favorite, um, um, I don't know, your, 
favorite costume, whatever. What are you guys going on? Going as okay. Um, so my friends this year were supposed. Me and my friends were supposed to go as uh, Cobra Kai. Uh, we we're supposed to buy the Cobra Kai keys, but apparently now everyone's a Cobra Kai fan and they sold out. So um, yeah, I'm a little salty about that, but it's cool. It's cool. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> there's always next year, right? Have a very happy, happy Halloween, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And boo.